Today, we will talk about accruals. Accruals are revenues earned or expenses incurred that impact a company's net income on the income statement, although cash related to the transaction has not yet changed hands. Accruals are revenues earned or expenses incurred that impact a company's net income on the income statement, although cash related to the transaction has not yet changed hands. Accruals also affect the balance sheet, as they involve non-cash assets and liabilities. For example, if a company has performed a service for a customer but has not yet received payment, the revenue from that service would be recorded as an accrual in the company's financial statements. This ensures that the company's financial statements accurately reflect its true financial position, even if it has not yet received payment for all of the services it has provided. Accrual accounts include, among many others, accounts payable, accounts receivable, accrued tax liabilities, and accrued interest earned or payable. An accrual is a record of revenue or expenses that have been earned or incurred but have not yet been recorded in the company's financial statements. This can include things like unpaid invoices for services provided, or expenses that have been incurred but not yet paid. Accruals are important because they help to ensure that a company's financial statements accurately reflect its true financial position, even if it has not yet received payment for all of the services it has provided or paid all of its bills. In accrual-based accounting, revenue is recognized when it is earned, regardless of when the payment is received. Similarly, expenses are recorded when they are incurred, regardless of when they are paid. Accruals and deferrals are the basis of the accrual method of accounting, the preferred method by generally accepted accounting principles. Using the accrual method, an accountant makes adjustments for revenue that have been earned but are not yet recorded in the general ledger and expenses that have been incurred but are also not yet recorded. The use of accrual accounts greatly improves the quality of information on financial statements by providing information about short-term credit extended to customers and upcoming liabilities owed to lenders. In double-entry bookkeeping, the offset to an accrued expense is an accrued liability account, which appears on the balance sheet. The offset to accrued revenue is an accrued asset account, which also appears on the balance sheet. Therefore, an adjusting journal entry for an accrual will impact both the balance sheet and the income statement. To record accruals on the balance sheet, the company will need to make journal entries to reflect the revenues and expenses that have been earned or incurred, but not yet recorded. For example, if the company has provided a service to a customer but has not yet received payment, it would make a journal entry to record the revenue from that service as an accrual. This would involve debiting the accounts receivable account and crediting the revenue account on the income statement. An example of an accrued expense for accounts payable could be the cost of electricity that the utility company has used to power its operations, but has not yet paid for. The effect of this journal entry would be to increase the utility company's expenses on the income statement and to increase its accounts payable on the balance sheet. The utility company generated electricity that customers received in December. However, the utility company does not bill the electric customers until the following month when the meters have been read. To have the proper revenue figure for the year on the utility's financial statements, the company needs to complete an adjusting journal entry to report the revenue that was earned in December. It will additionally be reflected in the receivables account as of December 31st, because the utility company has fulfilled its obligations to its customers in earning the revenue at that point. The adjusting journal entry for December would include a debit to accounts receivable and a credit to a revenue account. The following month, when the cash is received, the company would record a credit to decrease accounts receivable and a debit to increase cash. Here are five key takeaways. 1. Accruals are needed for any revenue earned or expense incurred, for which cash has not yet been exchanged. 2. Accruals improve the quality of information on financial statements by adding useful information about short-term credit extended to customers and upcoming liabilities owed to lenders. 3. Accruals and deferrals are the basis of the accrual method of accounting. 4. This is the preferred method of accounting according to GAAP. 5. Accruals are created by adjusting journal entries at the end of each accounting period. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.